paranoia is going to be so yep. important against the Maokai, against the Thresh, against the LeBlanc, if used appropriately. Right. We'll have to see. You guys at home need to jump onto Twitter and tell us who is going to pick up a win at LOL Esports. Will Nocturne top in Visit Chachi's hands grab the win? Hashtag UOL win or hashtag ROC win. Can Rocket pick themselves up a win? They're one and two on the split. Really respecting the uh, death sentence from Vanda. Yeah, and Yankos is... Oh, flash from him. Well, we'll see. Can Nuketak land on the chains? He doesn't Great even need start. them. As Nuketak gets first blood, and he's got some points for Rocket. <laughs> he has got some points on the board for Rocket. And, and this is the one thing that actually Paravival has been fairly vocal on, is it's all about getting to that level 11 point. If the pressure is on early and Cosmo cannot at least stay even, he falls so far behind. And that's a problem that the Unicorns have as well, is when power is not carrying, they seem to not do so well. But Kikis wants to have something to say. Well, Vanda's caught out, he eats a barrel, Kikis goes in with the body slam, and Vardax replies, he gets the help of Kikis. And that was, of course, because his team simply did not deliver last week. We'll see what he can do. Vardax throws down on the hunt, Hillisang throws down the Tibbers, the barrel throws Woolite away, one more to attack, and the Ignite secures it. Vardax actually flashed in in case it did not, but there was no target left to hit. It's so quiet, but look at Jankos heading back up to the top side of the map. The question is, well, the problem is, Kikis has two teammates around if they can get to him. Well, they're going to be able to sink the fangs in. Bardax and Hillisung on the retreat. Kikis has been burned away. Summon a heal for the movement speed and the HP. There is the paranoia as Vizichachi teleports it in, but they're in such close range, they can make it count. Vizichachi gets caught by the death sentence, and Rocket are going to string together two kills. Jankos is healing. It's not enough. Vizichachi's ignite. Rather burn is going to secure it from that smite. Hillisung now the next target to fall. Double kill for Woolite. Themselves a CS lead. And before we can talk about that, it looks like another fight is about to break out. Hillisung is going to throw down Tibbers once more. The barrel comboed for the kill. And Vardags is 2 1 and 2. Melting Vanda where he stands. Swift little move from the Unicorns bringing their bot lane and their jungler down. As, uh, I don't think Rocket were really expecting that one, that you finally settle yourselves in this bottom side of the map 2v2 and there's a jungler there at the same time. However, Jankos, speaking of junglers... Let's have another fight! Jankos finds Kikis, knocks him up, Woolite's got red buff, he's got the passive flinging out the shot, Barrel comes out and Woolite is going to get his third kill of the game and it's non-stop action. Nine That's something Unicorns of Love have to really tighten up on here. Uh, Chachi's the one going into the jungle now. This was uh, where Kikis was last time he died. But uh, if they're giving away too many kills here, Rexley is actually coming up behind Visit Chachi. Can he maybe look to get out of this? No flash. We already said it's a Nocturne. Well, Paranoia goes down. That's going <laughs> to switch the lights out for a second as Jankos and Steve get themselves another kill. What's going to happen? This time, however, Tib is available on Hillisang. Woolite and Vanda both get stunned. The boomerang blade connects onto Vanda. Woolite's knocked to safety. Vanda tries to save his life, but he will get taken out. One more auto attack from Vardax. Power of Evil is landing the artillery shots onto Yankos. He's got a needlessly large rod, but mana pool is slowly draining. Uses the ghost. Here comes Nuketak. Ethereal chains. Will they connect? Nuketak is holding on to it. Now everything is getting a little bit messy. The fear is going to at least throw Nuketak away. As Kikis and Power of Evil are focusing down. Steve, Steve, everyone's yelling your name, Steve. Can you run away, <laughs> Steve? No, you cannot because fire burns trees. And Hillisung takes down Maokai. Okay. And Rocket has not experienced that many times before. Unicorns may be dragging Rocket down and trying to beat them with experience. We'll see if it pans out because Chachi's going to get taken out by the combo of Nuketak and Steve. It's just a matter of time. No real damage to speak of. It's Nuketak that gets the kill, and we'll see whether or not that... Again, Chachi gets caught out in the top side of the map, and Hillisang's getting caught out in the enemy jungle. Oh, Ooh, it's Unicorn to react. Direction. Kikis yeah. is going to throw Ooh. Yankos against the wall. Tunnel goes out. Tempest comes down onto nothing, and Woolite grabs another kill. Rocket. The rest of your team, when you have a split pusher off in a side lane, 
Speaking of split pushes off in a side lane, Shachi is caught out again. Well, this is another time. Ooh, he's gonna be in trouble. New Black is trying to chase it. The chains do not connect. I don't think they'll kill him, but the chains actually didn't connect. That was on a minion. A flash knock up from Yankos. Means Visit Chachi will get taken down by Nuke Tag at the cost of the inner turret. Yeah, look at how many people. Marginal leads despite giving up that previous strength. Power of Evil almost gets popped. Forced to flash into the Raptor camp. Oh, Hillisang's caught. Doesn't even get the tippers down. It's Nuke Duck. And grabs himself his fourth kill of the game. Goes on a rampage. Man, Unicorns just have been sloppy when it comes to being out of position. You have to respect the fact that the top tower has already fallen. So you sacrifice top side oh, jungle. What a oh. hook from Vanda as Woolite gets the kill. Rocket now five versus three. They are going to get another inner turret. There's not a lot that Unicorns can do to defend this. And Rocket are now in the driver's seat firmly. Level 11, my behind. Rocket <laughs> spits in Unicorn's face and take another tower. Well, this is... If Rocket let him do that, that's going to be very tough. Rek'Sai Ultimate is going to bring him towards the middle side of the map. Nuke Duck oh, has a flank. Here's the teleport from Steve. Nuke Duck gets stunned up and Vizichachi throws in with Paranoia. That's a shutdown kill onto Nuke Duck. Death Sentence connects on Power of Evil. So both mid laners are down, but the Akathian Surprise deals damage from beyond the grave. Woolite is throwing out those Light Slingers and he's stunned by Tippers. Does manage to get on the Thresh Express out as Vanda flays Vizichachi away. Now Vardex forced to retreat. So far it's one for one as Rocket are running away and Steve gets cut down where he stands. Vardax, it's his fourth of the game, and Unicorn set their sights on the inner turrets. Rocket initiate the... Unicorns are stuck playing defensively once again, and it means they can't get out on the map to utilize their composition very well at all. Well, we do see Vandek. Oh, Kikis. Kikis. Kikis is going to use an explosive cast before getting exploded himself. Nuke Duck nukes him down, and minion wave is cleared out. Yes, Rocket got an advantage with that dragon. It's the second. Ooh, Power of Evil. Here's three in a row. I think that was four in a row. Actually helps with the corns because if Rocket aren't around, he's not going to play in their favor. I do want to touch on the fact that Hillis, like, whoa, takes a ton of damage. He's going to be forced to flash defensively on the hunt, used to run away, but here comes Steve, and Steve gets Hillisung. Unicorns are now split. Kick his body slams over the wall. He's played back. He's death sentenced in. He's knocked up, and the barrel knocks Rocket away. So Unicorns of Love cannot wave clear just yet with a full complement of uh, champions. It's all on Vardags, and it's not going to be enough. Rocket have cracked open the base and found Unicorns out of position. Makes life a lot more difficult for Power of Evil and Vardags to clear that out. It does, but Rocket aren't yet utilizing multiple waves yet. And honestly, we, we talked about how Chachi can't really 1v1 anybody, so uh, if they put Steve in another lane when his, tele oh, his teleport's not available, I was about to say if his teleport's up, but Chachi has gone on to Woolite. And Woolite's going to get feared, and then he's going to QSS, but Tibbers comes down for a nice Ooh. bear hug. And Visit Chachi doesn't need to one on one when he can five on one. And that's the vision control that the Unicorns of Love should not have at this point in the game, paying dividends. Chachi gets his ultimate, the paranoia, right onto a squishy target. And yes, I said the Nocturne normally can't 1v1 somebody in. Generally, that statement is true, but if it's Woolite and he's squishy and this late into the game, and it's certainly going to happen. Well, luckily, he had the support of his entire team as well. Nukezak is going to be able to get out with that distortion. Now, keep in mind, with Woolite going down in a 35-second death timer, having Baron and Super Minions is not that valuable. Unicorns of Love are tanking up the tower. Death Sentence from Banda does not connect. Tower is down. Unicorns now looking to mirror the inhibitor down. That will put Supers against Supers. And a big, giant pause button has landed coming towards them. Ultimately, Unicorns of Love, oh, they're out of position. Oh, uh, they are. Kick is oh, not dead just yet. He's managed to get saved for a few seconds longer before Vanda's Ignite ticks him down. Nukedak eats a living artillery, flashes from the second, odds on uses the third, and finally Power takes him down. Kikis was pretending to be out of position, but he was baiting Rocket into a false sense of security. It's a two for four, as Yankos is the last man standing. He's gonna find Vizichachi, he's gonna go for the 1v1, but there's a Blade of the Ruined King, Black Cleaver on Vizichachi, and it's actually Chachi that decides to run away. 2v4 that starts with Kikis being caught. And it, it's all because of the one mistake that Rocket has had plagued them 
for the entirety of the 2015 season is that Woolite in the middle of the fight just gets completely destroyed to begin it. Rocket run out of damage. Parabeevil is pushed up here. They've still got 20 seconds on the shortest death timer here. If they can get a, a wave in here, it should at least be a Nexus turret here. Lucian is up in 15. They may look to rush this. I don't actually know what Yankos can do. That tower is dying fairly oh, this quickly. This might be the game for those of you that don't know. The Prince of Wales next to me is <laughs> as surprised as I am. The Unicorns of Love have taken two Nexus turrets down. They're on the Nexus. Oh, maybe not. Gotta get saved. Nuke Woolite is alive. He's dropped power of evil. Mr. Chachi's the next focus. I've seen this with unicorns so many times, and it's going to happen again. Hillisung is down, and Rocket channeled their inner fanatic to defend their Nexus turrets. Turnabout One is fair more play. Time. Oh my goodness. Turnabout is fair play. Unicorns of love in Fanatic's shoes this time. <laughs> Trying to close out the game. Man. <laughs> oh dear. I'm. Oh, this is. Oh, here uh, we go. Kingus is going he's for on it. a special mission. He's trying to take it down. It didn't work for Yellow Star when Yellow Star tried it. And Steve is coming to the rescue. <laughs> Kickis is not oh. going to be able to do much. But look at the minions, top and bottom. Or well, Rocket, when it comes to closing this one out, will be getting five dragons, but they haven't been able to get it because they've just traded. And now Baron is coming up. Paranoia. Mr. Chachi pop. used Paranoia. He's dived onto Rocket, but. Not able to find a target. Steve was able to flash away. Now all of a sudden, Yankos is sitting deep. Hillisang's caught out. The tippers is somewhat of a zoning one as Hillisang is now dropped. The barrel puts a lot of damage and spreads Rocket apart. With Steve going down and Hillisang in reply, Rocket may be uh, in well, trouble. Wallite is looking for Kickers. He's got a lot of damage, but Kickers is a mega tank. So they're going to stand in front of this inhibitor and look like they want to just brute force it down. Well, we'll see if we can. Kickers has jumped in. Chachi's gone a long distance of paranoia and he's got caught out. Vanda lands a crucial death sentence and Woolite shuts down one of the enforcers. Steve gets pulled out by the lantern and now we see Rocket trying to re-engage. Nuketak is in trouble. Steve is down. Nuketak follows suit. Vardax, he's hammering away with those ricochets. Woolite claims his heels. He's trying to... Oh, doesn't even get a chance. And all of a sudden, Unicorns of Love may be on for the win. There's no Nexus turrets remaining. They've got to take out the inhibitor first. And in a four versus two, the crowd erupts. Unicorns of love, unicorns of life. They bring themselves back from the brink and take down Rockets.